G'day, Luke. Uh, I thought we'd just compare um, the improvements that you've made over only three lessons. So we can have a look when we first started, the really, really strong grip underneath. Um, yeah, foot width and all that's really good. As you take it back, hinge it up, that face is really, really shut. Um, left leg sort of collapses and comes out across a bit on the way back. Shifting your weight forwards. Now you've got to get up out of the way to steepen and open that face because it was coming in so shut. So then you hit the ground early and you're hitting it out to the right, hitting lots of blocks, and then you can't roll your hands over or anything. You just got to hold on for dear life. So that's where we started three lessons ago. Um, you came back today and your grip was a little bit too weak, which is a lot better than coming in and nothing's changed. So well done. Um, but today what we spoke about uh, if I actually bring up this first swing today, so grip there, a little bit weak, take it back, just ex early extension on the way down and getting that way too, uh, that left wrist way too straight, so driving all that power and unloading it just a little bit too early, pushing the club through, still no release, just because you got it there a little bit too early, not enough load, um, pausing the ball to go out to the right a little bit, um, pretty high right sort of soft shots. Um, coming around and to finish. So you still came back with a much improved swing on that where we started. But today we spoke about maintaining or achieving lag and maintaining lag on the downswing. So I taught you about the lure of the flail, which is just the floppy wristed swing, letting the club set, letting the wrist do all the work. So we're dragging the club away. And this is an exaggeration of where you'll end up. You can add structure to this like the good players do. But what it does teach you to do is set the club, transfer your weight, so that angle now comes down more loaded. And as you can see in your after, uh, sorry, before swing, you're really extending that early on the way down. So you've got a lot more lag on the way down, bring that all the way down into the golf ball instead of unloading it early and then hanging on for dear life through here. So now it's coming down and through. And look at that extension you've got after the golf ball through here. Now from there, you can just release it over around the corner for a bit of extra speed. So there's the release, just happens a little bit late, but started hitting the ball, started coming out a lot lower, making better contact, um, hit a few nice little draws as well. But that there, just so much better storing of that lag angle on the way down and bringing it bringing that power and you can see the shaft flexing. Um, I think you hit the ground like a quarter of an inch behind the golf ball, but um, I just want to show you that how much that's improved and how much it starts looking a little bit more like this guy. So Tiger uses that lure of the flail. He's dragging the handle back. He just doesn't do floppy wristed. So this first move here, that left wrist angle stays pretty much the same. Just doesn't really drag back, but he, he holds it there on the way back, so it comes straight back. So that left wrist stays, so it's nice and wide on the way back, transfers his weight, changes direction, and creates that lag on the downswing all the way down to the bottom, and then delivers it and releases it into the back of the golf ball. So now all of a sudden, your, your impact alignments start really marrying up with Tiger. Freaking amazing. Um, you know, worth, worthy of a, a, a before and after here. So then you've got the shaft um, resisting into the ground because he's hitting down on it. You can see that happen, you hit the ground. Good extension through here. On oh, the thing that I didn't mention as well is your body's rotating a lot more now as well through impact to keep your arms a lot straighter and released. So even there it's starting to marry up. We can just straighten out that left leg a little bit as you start turning a little bit faster through. But uh, yeah, looking all right, I'd say. Hitting the ball a lot better too. So um, that's only a third lesson, mate. So let's keep working on it and just keep making those gains and look out. Well done.